Hey guys, welcome to my short DK2 impressions video. I want to start off by saying this was my first experience using an Oculus Rift, so keep that in mind. It was really blurry at first, but after I fiddled with the settings, it worked great. It actually only took about a day or so to find the settings that I needed. The big thing I read about in the first DK was the screen door effect and the terrible blur people experience when turning their head. I can safely say that the blur is not a problem anymore. The low persistence makes head movement extremely fluid. The screen door effect may still be a problem for some people though. I really noticed it at first, but now it doesn't really bother me. Up close stuff looks great, but it still gets blurry at a distance. Judging from the pictures of the DK1 screen, I think the pen tile display really helps see past the screen door once you get into the flow of the game. I played Elite Dangerous for about 3 hours straight and forgot the screen door was there within 20 to 30 minutes. Positional tracking works great in Elite, but it was a little off in the Tuscany demo. I'm sure that will be fixed in the next patch to the SDK. The weight of the unit while wearing it is practically nothing. I mean, like I said, I played for 3 hours straight without any problems. The FOV is something I wish they had done better. I read someone's early review saying that it was like looking through ski or water goggles. It is exactly that. I could not have put it better myself. Not having my peripheral vision really messes with me. And you basically have to look forward to get a clear picture. I'm still training my eyes to look forward when I turn my head. If you don't look forward, all you get is a blurred perception of the picture. Honestly, it's not a huge deal in Elite Dangerous, but once more first person shooters come out, it may be a problem. At least for me. Well, this pretty much concludes my uh, first impressions video. I know, it was short, but to make up for it, I've included one of the scenarios from Elite Dangerous. But, I'll be using voice attack. Yeah, that's right. Once I use the program more, I'll have a review of it later if you guys want it. If you guys have any questions about the DK2, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for giving me some of your time, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Tactics out. Lock target. <laughs> Lock target. Alright. Lock target. inside.
shields online. safe. 